Lee Kun Su unleashed her rage on Jay after he expressed an interest in Paige in a dramatic teaser for Thursday's episode of Love Island. The Turkish actress, 28, branded the investment analyst, also 28, muggy and the biggest player in the villa in a furious chat after finding out he wanted to explore a connection with Nurse Paige, 24. In a short clip of the next installment of the dating show Eakin, who on Wednesday night's show said she was starting to fall for the hunk, was sat by the fire pit for the row which ended with her telling him to FK off. In the teaser clip she told him of his behavior with Paige, it's just hit me now what you've done, you're telling me now you want to get to know Paige when Shush is in a secure relationship. Do you know how muggy that makes you look? Apparently I was a player in here but the biggest player in here is you. You deserve an Oscar for that, the biggest Oscar, so you should just FK off J. Earlier on Wednesday's episode Eakin Su admitted shed court feelings for Jay as he enjoyed a very flirty date with new bombshell Antigone Buxton who wasted no time in expressing her interest in him. In the latest scenes Eakin Su and the other girls impatiently waited for the return of Jay and the boys after new girl Antigone invited them outside the villa for some speed dating. We're waiting for them to come back off this date, Danica moaned, before Eakin Su chimed in with they're still not here it's been 10,000 hours. So our thoughts are running away with us, Danica agreed, a lovelorn Eakin Su then confessed all in the beach hut as she admitted of Jay, I have caught feelings, im f ked, help, anyone in my position would not be over the moon, im not gonna pretend it's all fine so I am just going to try and stay busy, I would be gutted if he liked her, im overthinking everything. Antigone made her dramatic arrival in the villa during Wednesday's show, stunning the male islanders when they discovered her relaxing on a sunbed in the villa ahead of her flirty speed dating afternoon. As the islanders woke up to a new day in paradise, the new bombshell made herself comfortable on one of the sun lounges outside. The boys headed into the garden and suddenly spotted the new arrival sunbathing. Dami ran off to spread the news and the islanders then all headed outside and meet Antigone for the first time. Speaking in the beach hut about her arrival, Danica said, she looks like a ray of sunshine, shush is radiant. But obviously I'm like, what is going to happen next? Because I still haven't found myself a man in here. At the fire pit, the islanders were keen to know who Antigone has got her eye on. Luca joked, do you fancy Jay? Antigone said, I'll have to meet everybody, I'm very much the kind of person that I don't know if I fancy someone until I've had a good chat with them. Speaking in the beach hut, Jay said, seeing someone new in the villa for the first time, it's surreal. Shush is a really attractive girl and I'm looking forward to getting to know her. Following their kiss during the Truth or Dare game on Tuesday's episode, Jay and Paige's spark set tongues wagging, and the boys were keen to know how the hunk felt about her the morning after. Speaking in the garden, Jay said to Andrew and Dami, I think I will speak to Paige, but maybe not today. Andrew said, you said that last night, you can't waste time here. Dami said, time is of the essence. Before Jay replied, the timing's not ideal with her and Jack spending the night in the hideaway together and it probably got intimate. Jay added, the new girl has come in today, I want to get to know her, too, I might feel like there's a connection there, too. I need to chat to her as well. Speaking in the beach hut, Jay said, I feel like he can sue and I moved so fast, I don't want to leave here with a what if in my head, I want to leave here knowing that I explored all options. Later that day Antigone was given the perfect chance to acquaint herself with the boys, choosing three of them for a speed dating session. Choosing David, Dami and Jay, the four islanders headed out of the villa for the dates. David was up first as the other two boys watched on, with David saying, I can feel that you came here for a real connection. Antigone said, I can't be ungenuine, it's impossible. David replied, me too. I can't fake feelings. Antigone asked, what kind of a boyfriend are you? David said, at the beginning, I'm a closed person, I don't open up really. But I am very romantic and I am a very caring person, I always want the best for my girlfriend. Up next was Dami, Antigone said to Dami, you seem like good vibes and you're easy to chat to. We wouldn't run out of things to say. Antigone was then joined by Jay for her final date, and she said, I can already tell you're attracted to me, while Jay said, tell me how. Antigone added, you haven't broken eye contact with me once. That tells me you're attracted to me. It remains to be seen whether Jay's head will be turned by the glamorous newcomer, having admitted the previous night he wanted to pursue his interest in Paige, despite being in a couple with Eakin Sue.
Ikan Su came dangerously close to being dumped from the villa after learning she was one of the three girls who received the least votes from the public on Monday night. The Love Island boys were also left sweating as the girls prepared to welcome new bombshell hunk Charlie into the villa on Wednesday night's episode. The boys declared there's going to be competition in here. As they watched on from the terrace while a new hunk strolled into the villa, his arrival came hot on the heels of bombshell Antigone Buxton, who wasted no times in whisking her chosen guys off for a speed dating session. Ikan Su yelled I've got a text to which the other ladies replied, shut up. Oh my god no, what is it? The text read, girls it's time to get glamorous tonight you'll be welcoming a new boy into the villa. As the girls screamed with excitement, the boys stared down from the terrace as the newcomer mingled with the ladies, and it was clear that they are worried about the bombshell hunk as Luca told the guys, he'll tell you what, there is going to be competition in here. Beacon then said in the beach hut that she would get to know Charlie after Jay's wandering iron date with Antigone, and rejoiced that he favored fiery girls.